You see, I see countless thousands of every day, we all do, beautiful women and men in the streets walking up and down, but it's an illusion. They look good at street level, moving, they wear nice clothes. A photograph's different. It's two-dimensional, and you're, you're looking at it not for one split second. You're looking at it, and you begin to criticise it. It was dodgy. I'd hate anybody to judge me on my looks. And thinking of that, you're, you're living, uh, you arrive in a casting with, I don't know, 50 other models, 100 other models, and you're basically being judged on your looks when you arrive in first. I mean, us doing castings and going away and travelling around every different country, doing these castings in beautiful foreign locations, it may sound glamorous, but it's not. We're running around cities, seeing these different clients, and we have to look perfect, and we have to look professional, and we have to look like we just breeze in through the door. Ideas of, you know, total glamour, that the whole job is all about glamour and appearing in glossy magazines and in newspapers and whatever. And the actual job itself is not very glamorous. What stands out nowadays is if a model is professional, you know, you're going to already be a step ahead of everyone else because there's so many models out there. They don't necessarily need to be the centre of attention. They don't necessarily need to be show-offs. But when the moment demands it, they can command your attention. That's what makes a good model. They're engaging when the moment requires it. You better watch what you say. I don't need what you're handing out. I think you put yourself in situations that, you know, PRs as they call them in places like Milan and Paris always come after the models and say we're taking you to nightclubs tonight and we're doing this and you know they're buying you free drink and this is all new and exciting and they make you feel so special but they're actually very dangerous situations to be putting yourself in. Somebody told film is dead, long live digital, that's rubbish. I always shoot film. Always film.